Hey Accounting A students, Dr. Amanda here and um, I know a few students in our final week were a bit confused about our question in uh, chapter 7, uh, question 1, which was about the net present value of um, a particular item that we invested in. So I thought I'd just make a quick video that went over the idea of NPV. So NPV stands for net present value and it's about taking into account the time value of money. So that means that $100 today and $100 in two years time actually have different levels of value. So uh, we need to think about the time value of money and when we're calculating the net present value the one thing that we need to do is choose a discount rate. So that means that for my money that I have in the future, over here, if I'm putting it back into today's terms, how much do I need to discount that by to actually figure that out? Now in um, accounting and in our textbook, we're going to use, whoops, wrong pen here. I'm going to use the cost of capital as my discount rate. All right, and that's essentially the cost of capital is if I had to go out and I had to borrow money, it would be the interest rate that I'd need to pay, or if I went off and I issued shares to generate equity, it would be the rate of dividends that I need to pay. So my cost of capital is essentially going to represent the minimum that my investment needs to actually pay back. Um, so it needs to pay back at least the percentage it's going to cost me to borrow or get shares to spend that money to earn money in the future. Because remember, uh, I think we're going to look at an example, but you know, I might need to spend $1,000 outlay today to earn certain dollars in the future, well, how much is it gonna cost me to get that money? And so these amounts here, whether it's worth it, will depend on whether we can earn more than the minimum investment payback, which we're going to use that term cost of capital. All right, so if you're looking in the textbook, that's, that's the rate of the cost of capital. So if we go to the one that was from the textbook, um, we're going to use a formula, and the formula is that the present value of what we're trying to calculate, or the net present value for today, is going to be the uh, amount there um, multiplied by something called the DFA, and then you've got N and R. So let me just break that down for you. Uh, so the net present value of the flow, so it's the cash flow, um, and so that's going to be the expected return, R for return, and the D DFA is actually going to be a formula that comes from a table. The N is based on the number of years, and the R is the rate. And remember we said that our discount rate is going to be our cost of capital. So let's actually go to the table that you actually need to use, and I've taken a copy of it here. So this is from Appendix A in your textbooks, and it is Exhibit A9. So it's the present value of an ordinary annuity. So if we take our little formula uh, back here, so to calculate, uh, and in this question, we have our initial investment and then annual cash flow. So what we're saying is we're asking about how much is the future benefit or the future inflow worth in today's dollars. Okay, and I know that I've got $60,000 coming in per annum for four years. Now remember that formula. Uh, let me write it here in a different color. The present value um, of that current amount is going to be the return 
multiplied by the DFA rate, which is the rate coming from this table. Uh, the DFA for, uh, what is it, four years? At a cost rate of capital of 12%. So let's actually figure that out here. So I've got my four years. I'm just going to use a couple of different colored highlighters here. So year four is there. And the rates, 12. So the one that we want is 3.073. So let's go back, and I'm going to just move back across here to our question. I'm going to make that a tiny bit smaller so I've got a bit more room. So the way I need to figure this out is I need to figure out, well, my present value of my return. And it says that I'm going to make, um, I think it's 60,000. 60,000 each year. So 60,000 times that uh, rate, what was it again? 3.0373, let me double check. Yep, 3.0373. I'm just gonna grab my calculator out now. I can get my new phone to work. So 60,000, oh, I've got it missing an extra zero in there. 60,000 times 3.0373 gives me that future 60,000 every year for four years is worth in today's money 182,238,000. Right. So to answer this question, what we need to do is, I'm gonna do this in a different color because I've sort of run myself out of space here. Um, Okay, I'm going to do this bit in blue. So we had outlay of 160,000. Okay, and then we've got our present value of the future cash flow. And then I'm going to take my $182,000 here. 182. Two, three, eight. So my current value, all right, and remember that's a minus. So this is money flowing out, which means that I'm going to end up with a present value or a, and my investment is 160,000 and I'm going to make in today's dollars $182,238, which means that I'm going to be positive on the investment side of 22,238. All right, now this assumes that if I drew a little timeline, uh, let me just pick another color here. How this would work is that 160,000 is being paid at this date. All right, so money's flowing out. Then this is time zero, one, two, three, four, in each of these periods, I'm going to get positive cash flow of 60,000, 60,000, 60,000, 60,000. And what I'm saying is the value of all of this 60,000 in today's money at time zero is 182,000. So if I pay out 160, after the end of that four year period, I'll essentially be ahead by 22,000. And remember that depends on the years and the cost of capital. If you go here and you choose a different number of years and a different cost of capital, you will end up with a different response. So hopefully that clears up how you do that particular question on net present value.